it is exactly as it was played by the musician. We can, uh, that is the, the entitled Love and Devotion. The melody is the same. Uh, the melody and uh, it was only very recently that I have heard that being played in a piano by a modern musician. It was composed in 1907 and it was handed to me the same way that it was uh, composed in 1907. I am the third generation from my grandmother uh, to who have known the music and the melody and the lyrics of this song. What I want to say is that with a careful instruction, something can be transferred exactly without writing. That is my point, brother. You, you get my point, brother? Yes, brother Ali, and it can be passed on. So it doesn't follow that uh, when we talk of uh, prophecies, it must always be written for it to be able to be passed on to yes. the next generation. In fact, one of the prophecies of Jeremiah was later recorded by Zechariah. It was Zechariah who said that, uh, that uh, some of his prophecies were later, were formerly uh, said by other prophets. Let us read 28 8 of Jeremiah. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. This is now the prophet Jeremiah saying the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old see, prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Meaning, there are prophecies in the Bible that were handed down from mouth, which now the prophet Jeremiah is trying to explain in writing. Now, the prophecy of Enoch, which is the seventh from Adam, was not recorded by Enoch. It was handed down from one generation to another by word of mouth. Now, we are sure that these prophecies was handed down exactly as they have been spoken by the old prophets because when the time of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the Father, who came from heaven and preached unto, unto the world, he affirmed these prophecies, written or was not written. He spoke of the prophet Jonah. The Lord Jesus Christ spoke of the prophet Isaiah. He spoke of the prophet Jeremiah, Zechariah, etc. Meaning, Whatever we find in the book of Zechariah, Jeremiah, are authentic prophecies that maybe 
although they were not written, here comes now somebody from heaven uh, affirming such prophecies that were uh, said, spoken, and written before he came. You get my point, brother? Yes, brother. We are discussing the prophecy of Enoch. Uh, because it came into my mind, there are people now who say that they have found the book of Enoch. What kind of uh, people are these who intentionally mislead other people uh, to believe things which are not existing? For example, they say the gospel of Thomas, the gospel of, there's so many gospels. Even Judas uh, Iscariot wrote the gospel according to these people, you see. And they are trying to uh, now taint um, doubts in the minds of people who believe the Gospels that we have now. We have, of course, four Gospels that have survived the test of history and uh, the persecution that was uh, launched by Satan and his cohorts to the written word of God. Since uh, so many, many centuries that have passed. But they have survived. And discoveries now prove that the word of God was preserved through the power of God. By, circum by circumstantial, uh, which may be, I say circumstantial because Circum by circumstances, uh, these were preserved. Maybe people unsuspectingly may say that uh, the, the discovery of the Dead Sea Scroll is uh, something that happened accidentally uh, some time ago in 1947 when I was born. It may have been accepted by the world just like that it was discovered. But the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls proves that there are physical evidences, circumstantial evidences that proves that the Word of God was preserved by the power of God so that humanity may have a piece of literature that may bring him to the Father in heaven. Why do I say this? Because there are attempts now by modern uh, evildoers, by modern wicked men, that uh, to taint doubts uh, about the faith of people in the Bible or the Holy Scriptures. Satan has been doing this for centuries to destroy the Bible. Not only to destroy the Bible, but to destroy the belief of people in the Bible. To take away the trust of people in the written word of God. But Satan was a failure. From time to time, there are, there are discoveries, not only uh, by science, but by archaeology, which is also part of science, that proves the authenticity of what was written in the Bible. Uh, there are so many examples to prove this. The, the doubt that was uh, implanted in the minds of people when the Bible said that there was a king in the Assyrian Empire named uh, King Sargon. For so long a time, there was a doubt among historians and other people that the Bible is not telling the truth. When the book of Isaiah said that in the year that Tartan came unto Ashdod, when Sargon was king of Assyria, sent him and fought against Ashdod and took it. That was in Isaiah chapter 20, verse 1.